Join Mike Tirico and John Gruden for a showdown between the Bengals and Bucks Monday Night Football tonight at 8 Eastern on ESPN. And after Monday Night Football, end your night with a breakdown in the game and the latest on all of the pennant races in Baseball Sports Center after Monday Night Football tonight at 11 p.m. on ESPN. Sam Bradford played in his first game since tearing his left ACL for the second time in 11 months against the Ravens Saturday night. Bradford went 3 of 5 for 35 yards and led the Eagles on an 84-yard drive in his only series. He survived a late hit by Terrell Suggs in the first quarter, who lowered his helmet and tackled his knees for a roughing penalty. Here's Bradford and tackled Jason Peters on the hit. Sam, you waited this whole time to get out on the field, and Terrell Suggs goes for your knees right away. After he hit you, what did you think? Uh, well, I was glad that my knee was able to uh, take that hit, but, uh, you know, it's part of the game. It happens, obviously. You know, I wasn't expecting that, but, uh, you know, it was good to take a few hits tonight and get back up. You'll think you have better, you know, better sense than that to, to take a shot at a quarterback like that in the preseason. Do you think it was deliberate that he went down low? I think so. He was trying to just take a cheap shot at the quarterback. I'm, I'm pretty sure he planned it. We practiced against him all week, and I'm pretty sure he was, he was thinking about it. Suggs, however, put the blame on Eagles coach Chip Kelly, saying post-game, if you want to run the read option with your starting quarterback that's had two knee surgeries, that's on you. And let me point out, the NFL has said since Terrell Suggs' hit on Bradford was a legal one, and that officials made an error in flagging Suggs on roughing the passer. Stephen A., in your mind, was this a dirty hit? It was dirty, but it was legal. There was nothing illegal about it. Suggs was absolutely right to say what he said. But the reason why I would tell you it's dirty is because it was completely unnecessary. In a preseason game, you know, he's coming off of two ACLs. You know what you're trying to do if you go at him like that. With Suggs, uh, the way this boy hits, as vicious as he can be, as big as he is, you know good and well if Sam Bradford hadn't seen you coming and you hit him where you hit him, it would have probably ended his season if he hadn't seen you coming and wasn't able to at least move out of the way somewhat so he didn't get hit flush on those knees. And so I'm saying, yes, it was legal. Yes, we all know it was legal. There is no way on earth that he should have been flagged for the hit. No question. But it was dirty because of its intent. And mm -hmm. Suggs knows that. He just doesn't care. But he does know that. Mm. As you know, Stephen A., and our audience knows, I've had many, many battles with my man T. Sizzle on this show. And we love him. We love him. I love him. Absolutely. And love I'm gonna him to death. I'm going to defend him right now from my heart. Mm -hmm. I do not consider that a dirty play, even in preseason game number two. Terrell Suggs was right to go at Bradford, but the force of his momentum was aimed to the left of Bradford's knees. The helmet and shoulder pads go to the left. He arm tackled him and, and just, just grabbed him around the knees like this and pulled him sideways down. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And strategically, I'm good with it because of this. Do you realize, Stephen A., and I think I've mentioned this on the show before to you, in the two years Chip Kelly has coached the Eagles offense, they have led the NFL with 515 read option plays. 515 times over two years they have run the read option. Next on the list in the NFL, Russell Wilson Seahawks at 280. So 515 and second is 280 in Seattle. They're running the read option like mad which is why Tim Tebow is still on the roster with the Philadelphia Eagles. He did not throw the ball very well this past Saturday night, but he ran the read option flawlessly because we know he can do that, and Chip Kelly knows he can do that. Sam Bradford could also do a little bit of that, and trust me on this. If, in fact, Sam Bradford is the starting quarterback of the Eagles, he will run some read option, and every once in a while, Sam will pull the ball back when there's nobody home over here on the left flank, and he will run for five yards and slide. You say, he's an immobile quarterback. Well, he was an all-state basketball player in high school in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and Jeff Capel, the OU basketball coach at the time, did want him to play freshman basketball. So as immobile as Sam Bradford is, I think he could move if you ask him to move. And Chip Kelly's going to ask every quarterback to run some read option. Mark Sanchez shocked my Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving evening 
by running, it seemed like, 12 read options, and every time he ran it, he was wide open when he kept the football. So Suggs' point is, you run the read. They came out running the read option with, with Sam Bradford. Did I expect Sam to pull it back and keep it to the to Sugg side? I did not. But is he capable? Will he do it this year? Yes, he will. So Suggs well, is right. Molly read that quote. That's on you, Eagles. If you're going to come out running the read option that's not with Sam the issue. Bradford. Yes, it is. No, it is to me. Issue. I'm fine that, that, with that, that, it. That's not the, well, then you should have come up with a different question. Because the question, we're not debating that. We understand with the read option and what have you, but you know, you're going to get your quarterback hit. What I'm saying to you about Terrell Suggs is that Terrell Suggs, Terrell Suggs, when he usually has a shot at a quarterback, he doesn't usually go low like that. So the fact that he elected to do so and he gave the quote that he gave after the game showed his intent. The hit itself, you're right, was not dirty. Obviously, he should not have been penalized. I agree with him. I agree with Coach Harbaugh. I definitely don't believe the hit was dirty itself. But the play itself was dirty in terms of his intent, in my opinion, because what he is doing is trying to go after the legs of somebody he knows is fresh off of two ACL surgeries. And I'm saying to you, that's what makes it dirty. Now, we understand that comes with the game. And that's the Eagles' problem, which is what you're saying, because it is their problem. I'm just simply saying that if you listen to Jason Peters, what he's talking about is it's a preseason game, bro. Everybody's trying to get themselves ready for the regular season. You didn't have to do that. Just like that hit that happened, I think it was to uh, uh, Keller for the, New, uh, uh, for the Miami Dolphins a couple of years back when that kid, uh, 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 what, uh, Swearinger yeah. for Houston yeah. put that hit on him. It was a preseason game. Yes, it was legal. Did you have to do that? He's sitting there talking about, I got to worry about concussion issues. I don't want to get fined. Well, there's a pretty long distance from your head to your knees. But it didn't stop him from giving Keller, Dustin Keller, that yeah. shot there in a preseason game. What we said that day was, it's preseason, bro. Okay. Did you have to do that? But and that's all I'm saying to Suggs. T. Sizzle, did you have to do that? Okay, but as Suggs said, he said, I could have hit him much harder than I hit him. And boy, do I believe that. He could have used helmet, shoulder pads, at least one big right shoulder into the knees. But he went sideways. It was almost like an Olay tackle from the side with well, his again, arm just pulled him down. Uh, again, again, it wasn't. He, it could have been worse. We understand that. T. Sizzle's absolutely right. And there's no way on earth he should have been penalized. The question is, you had a clean shot at the quarterback. And look at where you chose to attack. And you knew what you were doing because at the end of the game, what did you say? If they want to run the read option with a dude fresh off of two ACL surgeries, that's on them. So you knew what you were going up against, and you elected to do that. So your intent was was wrong. That's all I'm saying. You okay, know, you got a clean shot. Usually at a quarterback, you're willing to cave his chest or his back in. That's what you're willing to do. Okay, but I'm not debating the fact that he was he wasn't wrong. He was the right. You know, he he did what he's supposed to do. But he didn't have to go low. But he obviously, chose to. he can't go high anymore, right? You know, you're going to get a flag for going anywhere up high. Well, skip. Well, skip. I'm telling you right now, we're not going to have this discussion for the rest of the year if that's going to be your argument because I'm saying there's a long distance between the head and your knees or lower. If you're telling me you're going to bring up the argument that he can't go high as if he couldn't go high without touching his head, I can't, I can't debate that because that makes no sense to me. There's, a, there, there's your neck. There's your whole torso. There's all of that area to sit there and cave a dude's body in okay. that you could have hit without going lower. Now, if you can't concede that, I can't say anything. There's okay. nothing I can say. Okay, this is just me. I'm a big fan of the read option because I like the way Tebow and Russell Wilson especially run it. So to, to me, the downside is you are very fair game if you're going to keep doing that because there's the option of you doing this and going that way. So I'm fine that even in a preseason game, Suggs played football the way it's meant to be played without getting dirty. Without, that was not a cheap shot. As, as Peter said, I'm sorry, well, well, I don't again, think he planned to do it. 
again, when I allude to cheap shot, I'm not talking about the actual hit. I'm talking about the intent. And the intent is coupled with the moment at hand. I mean, you're professionals. You pay your mortgages. You elevate your quality of life playing this game. And you're going to go out on the field and do that during a preseason game. Jason Peters specifically highlighted preseason game. He wasn't talking about a regular season game. You're trying to win where stuff matters. These games don't count, especially for somebody like Suggs, who's big time and all pro, who doesn't have to worry about a roster spot. You don't have to do that during a preseason game. You just don't. You don't have to do it. Okay. Suggs, I got your back on this show. You know it and I know it. Thank you. Oh. If you call that having his back, have at it. I guess that I betrayed him. Then I guess <laughs> call me the betrayer. I don't have his back on that. It was unnecessary. Mm. That's all I'm saying. All right, we will leave it there. Do you guys have Tiger Woods back? Because he was looking like Tiger again, maybe, in the Wyndham Championship this weekend. We'll discuss that coming up. We plan how to win and want to play our part. To be on top's no sin if it's in your heart. We don't want to fight, but to play the game clean.